Welcome to Rise and Shine. We feel like this one and a half hours that you give to yourself each month is the perfect opportunity for you to stop and ask yourself how you're doing. Are you actually living in alignment with the person that you most visualize yourself being? And this hour, this very simple hour and a half, is a commitment that you make to yourself to ask yourself that question each month. We actually have committed to a series that is looking at lessons learned from nature. So how did we arrive at that? Well, first of all, I have this great little love affair with simplicity. Many of you know that. If you've been coming for more than one or two or five sessions, you know that I am on, like many of you, kind of this constant quest to slow life down and to keep it more simple than it is. There is definitely a, an understanding that we need to kind of decompress, manage the stress that is coming our way. So these are all of the reasons that we really wanted to actually focus on nature. And so it got me thinking about the power of owls. Actually, their power actually comes from the noise they don't make, right? That is actually what allows them to be the hunters that they are. To, to, is the, actually the quiet of their wings. It's what they aren't doing. It is what they aren't, the noise they aren't making. So what would that look like to us? The noise that we aren't making. Now, my voice, by the way, my inner critic, by the way, it's going on about a whole a sundry things, right? But I'm just choosing to share with you th this little piece, right? So it is saying to me, oh my gosh, it's getting worse, Claudia, not better, you idiot. Like, what are you doing or not doing to actually impact this? Somebody else would be working way harder at figuring out what this situation is all about than you would be. Uh, it would also say, you might not be as serious. You're not as serious as you think you are about resolving this, because if you were, you would be taking time out to meditate for the 20 minutes that you know that you're supposed to meditate a day but you're not, you're a loser and you're not that serious, right? Or it would say, um, Dr. Parks is probably really mad at you for canceling your, yes, 4 a.m. doctor's appointment last Friday. Um, he would be really mad at you, right? So these, this and many, many more things are, are, are all the things that are going on, the noise in my head that I internalize and then impacts my ecosystem because whether or not I admit it or whether or not I even see it is probably the bigger issue. Those things impact the way I walk through life. Okay, so one day I pick up this book playing big. I'm in the middle of it anyway. I get to this activity and it was going to do a visualization. And early on, it's asking, like, what is the name of the person that you see at the other end of this light beam? And I'm like, I don't know. But a name had popped in my head and I, nothing else would come in my head. And so I was like, oh my gosh. And so I just acquiesced. And I'm like, all right, fine. That's the name. So I get up from my computer. I mean, I get up from my seat and I go sit in front of my computer because I think to myself, there has to be more to this. Like, there ha this, so I type in the name and I pull it up. So the name, by the way, is Jade. So one of the things that it asks you to do is just immediately download everything that came to your mind. So my inner mentor, big open, fresh beach house. This is where I was. Picture windows overlooking the ocean. There were waves. She was wearing white. It was calm. I don't know what that says. Calm blue. Oh, OK. Yeah, it was a calm blue shirt, white pants. So I think I said that um, a muted blue shirt, hair slightly pulled back. She had a big smile warm welcome I got. There were stacks of books everywhere, floor to ceiling bookshelves overlooking the ocean. Actually, I know this sounds kind of crazy and it sounds kind of woo woo, woo but honestly, I mean it. Jade is, Jade is that inner mentor. She is the counter voice to the inter, inner critic. So when I'm beating myself up about not working hard enough to get well, then she is the one saying, what else could be true, right? Or if I'm beating myself up about canceling my yes, 4 a.m. doctor's appointment, she is saying, 
do you think Dr. Parks has ever had to rearrange his schedule before? Right? So the inner mentor is just that counter voice that invites us to look at ourselves and our situation in a way that is different than our natural inclination might be.